Can we drive a car on cheese wheels? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You got just a few chances left to see us live, in person, in concert. We got an evening of comedy and your favorite songs coming up in Arizona, New Mexico, and California. Four November shows that wrap up the year. Get tickets while they last at redlinklive.com. Now over the years of making this show, it's evolved and expanded a whole lot. And we are continually amazed at the things we find ourselves doing, both logistically and legally. And a lot of the credit goes to our amazing mythical crew. And thanks to them, we pretty much live in a fantasy world where we truly believe, as my son Lando's third grade class saying, Anything you can dream, you can do. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. It's not, so, n- it's not true normally. Uh, well, it's true here. Yeah. And we had a new dream. Cheese wheels on a car. A car with wheels that are cheese wheels. You can't tell us this is not a good idea. And we're like, why has this not been done? They're called cheese wheels. Okay, so. To see if we can make this dream come true, we asked the mythical crew to put cheese wheels on a car and they have documented their entire process up to this point. Let's take a look at their journey. All right, thank you everybody for joining us. We know you are busy, uh, but we have something important to talk about. You guys know that Rhett and Link have a lot of faith in all of you. So what they've done is they've tasked us to task you guys to take the tires off of a car and replace them with tires made of cheese. That's insane. The important thing to know is that when these cheese tires are on, the car needs to drive. Yeah, of course. Everybody feel good about everything? Let's put some cheese on a car. I suspect Paisley, you'll be doing a lot of the work. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to figure out how to make a car essentially work on giant wheels of cheese, which means we need to buy giant wheels of cheese. I'm thinking we should get something like spongy. Yeah, if you use something like a parm, it's just gonna shatter and shard off. Yeah, I think we need something with a little give. So I'm thinking like a nice mild to medium cheddar. Nice. You know, nothing too fancy. I think this could work. 38 pounds. That's big, like how much does a car tire weigh? I've never changed a tire in my life. So we're gonna kind of divide and conquer. Lucas, you need to get with a mechanic, see what's going on with the car, see if we can get it running. That's the first step. I want you, Caitlin, to figure out how we can get the car jacked up. We need four jacks. Get with David Hill, figure out how to make that happen. Got it. And then I'm gonna work on the cheese part of the cheese tires. All right, this is the vehicle. At one point it did run. Let me just crank it over and see what happens. Sure. (laughs) Yeah, completely dead. Okay, I wanna check these fuses and see if one of them is blown, which can happen when you're putting wires and stuff. Right. You know, talking shop here, um, if we were to take the wheels off this car and like try to drive it on other things, maybe like cheese, you know, because cheese wheels, do you think it could take the weight of the car? Cheese could be a tough one. It could be. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'd stay away from the mozzarellas and yeah. the Buddhas. None of the softs, maybe a semi hard. Yeah, okay. yeah. What we're getting is four 38 pound wheels of mild white cheddar cheese. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this on camera, but I think there's like a 0% chance of this holds the car up. So I, see, I think, I think there's a 100% chance of this. And so if you average out what okay. we think, it means 50-50 shots. It's got a 50-50, 50/50 50 shot. shots. So at this point we looked at the battery, checked those fuses, those are looking good. Now we're on the relays, which seem like we're kind of chasing down these wiring diagrams all throughout the car. So the wiring diagram for the space shuttle doesn't look a whole lot different right. from a modern car. That may be more time than it's worth. Thanks. Did the best you could. Looks like we'll My have pleasure. to good find luck. another way. Good luck with your cheese wheels. Thanks. <laughs> oh crap. The uh, cheese wheels are not coming. Make them regret ever crossing us. York Valley Cheese, this is Rebecca, how can I help you? Hi Rebecca, my name is Nicole and I'm calling because I recently had an order placed that ended up being canceled and I was wondering if you could possibly help me with that. It looks like your order was shipping with the incorrect method, so it would need to be resubmitted as a new order. Do you mind if I place you on a very brief hold? No problem. Thank you. (laughs) This is already like the worst idea and suddenly we don't even have the cheese. That was the easy part. We just clicked a button. Okay, so most likely what you would need to do is actually submit separate orders for each wheel of cheese. If I submit separate orders for my wheel of cheese right now, will it come when it was scheduled to come? It most likely wouldn't ship until Monday or Tuesday and then not arrive until around the middle of next week. It's imperative that I get it at least on Monday or Tuesday. So if there's any way you can possibly 
do something, I don't know, expedite it, anything you can do. So I'm looking through our shipping systems and communicating with our logistics team, and we might be able to have them arrive by Tuesday. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate all of your help, okay? I'm definitely gonna write a survey about how wonderful you did. Good news, bad news. The good news is that we have the cheese for the wheels ordered, and so that'll be here in a couple days. Bad news, mechanic came, took a look at it. It doesn't look like it's gonna run. I think we might just have to push it. Um, I was wondering if you guys had like a vision. Kind of this right here. So is that, those are the wheels that will be cheese. Okay. And this here is your car. Cheese is here. Okay. Yay! Okay, well, seems like about the right width. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I wish I could tell my 12-year-old self, people are gonna pay you money to put a car on wheels of cheese. You know, I've never done this before, so hope we uh, figure it out, all right? David, you ready? Yes. Oh yeah. So I've got all my couplers on, and now we're adding our piece of extension to go through the cheese. Last thing to do is to just transfer the holes on the actual wheel onto the cheese wheel. We're ready to roll. So we got our holes drilled. We're putting our cheese on. I'm tightening these lug nuts with a thunder washer on each one just to hold that cheese in there. Maybe my nickname should be PF Gouda Wrench. <laughs> okay guys, this is it. Let's lower it down. Let's get one person at each tire. Let me know when you're in. Um, for the record, there's absolutely no way this is gonna work. Everybody okay. back away from the car in case it goes any somewhere weird. Stranger things have happened. That cheese wheel looks strong as heck. One, two, three. It's kind of what so, I figured. You know, it's not looking like it's a very operable vehicle, guys. I mean, you can tell it's bending it. Oh yeah. If you look back here. It's oh, it's, look at this. Yeah, See the yeah, angle. Yeah. Yeah. If you put your hand down here, you can feel where like the bolts are just like ripping through the cheese. <sighs> I guess I need to let the guys know. Hey man. Hey Link, how you doing? Yeah, got you on where we're at. Well, I have good news and bad news. We put the cheese on the car. Like you said, that's the good news. The bad news is it didn't work at all. Okay. I guess what you're saying is that regular old cheese is not going to work. You might need to modify the cheese, if that makes sense, yeah. Uh, I have a couple ideas, but I want to well, see what you guys want. We just want cheese wheels, man. If it tastes like cheese and it looks like cheese, yeah, it's a wheel. That'll work. You can do it, man. We believe in you. <laughs> uh, I needed that, thank you. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I have a few basic ingredients that I'm gonna work with. I got some cornstarch in here, food grade gypsum, gourmet cheese powder, some just super generic cheap Parmesan, and then I have the food glue. And so what I'm hoping to do is kind of make like a concrete mixture and then infuse that into like a brick of ramen noodles. Don't know if that's gonna work, but the first thing I do is try, right? I don't know if this is gonna dry. I don't know what's gonna happen in this. So I've got my first trial recipes set up. I'm gonna let them sleep overnight and we'll see what they look like tomorrow. Put it right up here, make sure it's getting oh, it's a nice sun. Bye cheese, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so lift our cheese out. Hopefully one of these is just like rock hard. Still pretty soft. Yeah, this wouldn't work. This one looks harder, but this is still real soft. This one hold a car up. Next are these two. This one looks like uh, it's got more of a roughness, but still it's soft. This one's even softer. This one is the one I thought was most promising, and this lets me like turn this into a more usable building material. So based on our test, this is a pretty good, pretty good version with cheesecloth on one side. And so in order to scale this up so I can do four full-size tires, I've created this. 
It's currently unnamed, but the working title is Tour de Fromage. So the cheesecloth spool comes in here, and as it's being pulled in, I've got my cheese powder mix here, which is kind of replicating cheese cement, and then I've got the cheese crumble mix here that is more of like the sand and gravel bit of the cement. It's crushed up ramen, cheddar cheese goldfish, cheese at crackers, Doritos, and Parmesan cheese. When I turn this crank, it pulls in the cheesecloth onto the wheel, and it'll turn this wheel, which will turn that spinner, and then I'll be able to manipulate this machine all on my own. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest, but uh, here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. Ah! Oh. Got all sorts of failures. Obviously got some uh, finessing to do with the machine, but it's definitely working. So um, stay tuned for something incredible. So after our first very elaborate uh, contraption failed. We scaled back and made a revised version much simpler. The big difference between that and this is that this machine requires two people. So this is our cheese mix. Kind of just pour it into the cheese reservoir down here. And then Caitlin uses the cheddar cheese and glue mix and just starts to kind of coat the cheesecloth in it. Okay, so here we go. It takes about an hour to get one wheel finished. That's kind of broken up into a few phases though because we need time to dry in between. A lot of this is me just trying to catch up with Paisley. He's like, you know, a cheese expert. So we're getting to the end of this wheel. It's pretty good, so now we're just gonna pop the wheel off of our rig. On the wheel, pops right off. And then we'll just Sit out in the sun to dry. On to the next. We are melting down the cheese that we used from our first failed attempt of cheese wheels. And then Paisley is gonna add it to the wheel. When this is ready, I'm literally gonna like grab the pot and run in there and dump it on. You gotta hurry so we can get it on it's still liquidy because it wants to come out in a big old clump. Come on, baby. Melt for daddy. Melting cheese is actually really difficult to work with, believe it or not. The window to get the cheese on is really short, which is why I ran in. This probably looks super appetizing. Just me mashing it in. All right, that's that. We'll just let it sit for a while and get set up, and I'm gonna slap it on the car. Wow, this is something, Paisley. Thank you. I don't know what that thing is. You wanna give it I mean, a taste? I'm gonna leave the tasting to Rhett and Link. That, that's the biggest question though. I like it, are they going to like it? And I don't know the answer <laughs> to that. I didn't know they were actually gonna do it. <laughs> I, I thought we might get some pushback. <laughs> You know what? Okay, so I'm wow. told all we gotta do is step outside and give it a test drive. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Cheese wheels. <laughs> Cheesing, baby. This is so satisfyingly stupid. <laughs> What do you guys think? Uh, you did it, sir. I mean, well, hold on. Well, it, I mean, you, tried, you may this, have done it, sir. I may have done this it. This looks great. I mean, this tire, it is a cheese tire. You tried real cheese wheels, and now we've got wheels made of cheese that you might not get as a cheese wheel at a cheese place, but I, I'm calling that a cheese wheel. Well, a couple of tests. Uh, we need to taste it. <sighs> I mean, that's just cheese. And I'm even getting to the, like the cheese cloth. And there's still cheese under there. Kind of hard to get your mouth on a tire. I can, I can taste the goldfish. I can taste the Doritos. I can taste the, what is that on the outside? Mozzarella? It's a, yeah, it's an aged white cheddar. Aged white cheddar? Yeah. It passes the taste test. But can it pass the weight test? 100% sure it's going to, yeah. I like your confidence. Drop right. it down, man. Our team assemble! Oh, wow, they're, there they are. They're hiding back there. Keep going easy, easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Okay, guys, I think you can get in. Well, who wants to drive? Now, I, I know this thing won't run and you're gonna have to push it. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Hey, be, be a little ginger. I'm, I'm coming in. I'm coming in soft. It doesn't smell great in here, guys. Art team, reassemble. All right, I'm gonna go into neutral, yeah, shifting yeah. into neutral. You ready up there? I'm in neutral, and the brake is off. Go! <laughs> go! It, 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 it's it's whoa. waggling. Not a smooth help. ride. Come on, guys. Do we need do we need more help? One more Let's help. Get this baby going. Pedal to the metal. Uh, go! Oh, gosh. I kind of feel like I'm off-roading, but I'm just off-cheesing. It's like we're on a boat. No, I'm on-cheesing. <laughs> Can you smell the cheese? Oh, the cheese is wafting. Whoa, it smells it better really than It really is now. wafting. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> See what we're up against. We did it! We freaking drove a cheese wheel car! It, okay. We only lost cheese right here at the, well, no, we lost some it's cheese not. back there. It was not a smooth ride, but I will say that that was counteracted by the way the cheese began to waft into the cabin. Yeah, it okay. smelled great. It felt great. It felt so like a waterbed almost. And it's like the cheese core underneath the cheese sort of skin really held up, right? I mean, it didn't come off anywhere. It didn't still taste like cheese. I'm not gonna try it, but I trust oh, you. Oh my goodness. I just got to say, I know this is coming from two bosses who are complete idiots, but we are so freaking proud of you, man. Wow. <laughs> you guys, we did it. Okay. <laughs> thank you, team. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mercedes. And we're at Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs on our two-year anniversary. <laughs> And our car broke down. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Sorry, guys. You needed cheese wheels. But hey, your names are still Storm and Mercedes. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us try the weirdest toppings fans put on their mac and cheese in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Feeling groovy? Head over to mythical.com and grab some of our mythical tie-dye teas.